Mr. Rudd, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you, Ron. Very good to be with you. Have you been watching the Olympic swimming trials? Yes, I have. Pretty exciting. <laughs> We're getting yeah. one of those suits. Oh, really? What for? <laughs> well, they cut the friction down, Brian. I'm going to get one for the health system. Make it go faster. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing PBs in the last few days, Brian, but I think if we fix the turns, well, negative splits is what we're after, Brian. Mr Rudd, do you have any concerns about the Olympics? I mean, there's been talk of boycotts. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll happen. I don't think it's a good idea, and yeah. I don't okay. think it'll okay. happen. OK, OK, but how do, you f how do you view mounting international concern over human rights issues in China? Well, Brian, we're always concerned about uh, any abuses of human rights wherever yeah, they occur, in anywhere China, in the in world. China. Well, in China as much as anywhere else, yes, we are concerned. Do you discuss these things with the Chinese? It's not my practice, Brian, to reveal what goes on on a government-to-government -government basis in terms of our discourse with other countries, Brian, to be okay. frank. But you you do speak Mandarin, don't you? I do, as a matter of interest, speak Mandarin. Yeah, I wouldn't say I was perfect. Well, they say you're pretty good. Now, well, that's very nice of them, Brian, but I certainly don't go into government meetings without a translator and a phrase book. Really? Oh, I keep the phrase book with me at all times. And you use it? Well, yes, I do, Brian, because even if I understand what they're saying, often what I might say to them, one needs to be terribly precise with mm. one's language. Can you give us an example of this? I could, Brian, if you give me an instance. OK, let me say uh, you wanted to express some concern about the treatment of, uh, say, dissidents in China. Yeah, this is, I'll just look down. This is, is there dissidents. a phrase for that? Yeah, there will be, Brian. This is mm -hmm. the treatment of dissidents within, within China, China itself. Yeah. Yes, here it is, Brian. Yeah. I will get the nickel prices to you by tomorrow morning. What about the current difficulties in Tibet? Is there anything Tibet? Oh, we're very, very concerned about yeah. Tibet. I think How would everybody you is, Brian. That'll be a different phrase. That. Yes, Tibet. Yeah. Yes, we are concerned. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Sorry, we are very concerned, very concerned. Yep. about abuses of human rights in Tibet, and we would like to meet with you to discuss this on Monday in the London Metal Exchange. And how would they respond to this? I mean, would we see progress on human rights? We would hope so, Brian. That's why we're doing it. As to how they would respond in words, obviously I'd need to go to a different part of the yeah. phrase book This for is that. what they might say to us. Yeah, this is all completely yeah. theoretical. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Here we are. Thank you for your concern mm -hmm. about abuses of human rights in China and Tibet. Uh, when you had the games, we supported you, and you had the highest infant mortality rate in the world among your own indigenous population. Mm. Mm. How are you going with the subprime crisis? Who do we talk to about buying Rio? Mr Rudd, thank you very much for your time tonight. What are BHP futures worth? Quickly, just in case Brian asks me about Darfur. Mr Rudd, well, thank he could, he's not a complete idiot.